Yeah, very big welcome to you, my dear Sagittarius, and always a big welcome to those who felt like in this constellation is a message or an inspiration for them as well. The sun, or when we look at the sun, we see Virgo behind it. And when we look at the moon, we see Sagittarius behind it. And the sun is highlighting the moon and Virgo is holding the sun or the star, but the sun is a dwarf star in his lantern and he is guiding you further the path to the light he is helping you on the path from left to right on the path from right to left um, I would basically put you here and then you wouldn't even speak with each other Right, and so it's a very interesting combination, the small and the big circle. Always remember the small circle is a year, 365 days. We go from left to right and the big cycle is um, 25,800 years long and goes from right to left. So all the major arcana that are not connected to a zodiac signs, I read from right to left. And then the other arcanas, which are connected each one to a zodiac sign I'm reading from left to right. Because that's the physical, that's the, the human experience that we have in the small cycle that the earth is spinning around the sun. And in the soul cycle, which is much bigger, much longer, we go from right to left because the earth is spinning to the left in that cycle. So here you are called to look deeper within into the Two of Cups, into what does that mean to understand these opposite energies, one is giving and one is receiving. Very important questions that come up here, right, through these cards. And then, of course, here the yoga card or the yoga inspiration for the hermit for that looking deep within and of course it's a masculine energy though it's an introverted personality Virgo but the Sun is now giving Virgo the moment of have that moment with yourself and shine your light upon those people and so you are inspired through Virgo to go back up on the mountain and find yourself and meet yourself and in the center Already the new spine is developing in that cosmic egg of the present moment. For you, I choose to take forward bend. That spine that bends over that connection here, the pole, the tent pole, the angel, finding that within in the spine by bowing down to the opposite one is silver one is gold the masculine and the feminine and then the sacred geometrical forms create the guardian angel here because that's what it basically is and so you are learning to look deep within into your journey to adventure you're the Knight of Wands if your birthday is between November 13 and December uh, 11th. This is your court card looking into the big cycle, so from right to left. Okay, let's continue then. The last reading was the Sun in Leo and the message was the 5x5 five five portal is leading you to be the angel of love in this world. So five times five, 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 is a portal of higher communication, speaking your truth, speaking up, saying what you have to say in a loving way. And so now with the Virgo highlighting this reading so that you can look deep within 
is coming up on the position of the fool the judgment which I don't like that word I call it the inspiration I call it right that moment of ah I get it and so we get here that they looking up into the angel they seeing here that when they rise out of the coffin when they leave their physical body that here they are met with these two angels and you are an angel and so they're looking up here they're really innocent and here's this old face looking up and it's almost like he's seeing himself and they seeing each other as that mirror as that angel very interesting the Visconti's Forza Tarot giving you here quite an interesting beginning. The 3-3 three, three is then the star that Virgo holds in the lantern, the hexagram which I drew here around, the Star of David, one of the most oldest, it doesn't belong only to the Judaism, one of the oldest understandings of the element three with the three is a six is that masculine feminine energies that here on earth build a triangle and in heaven it builds a triangle as above so below and as below so above so then on the position of the magician comes the warrior the number 32 a five so already you have a five here on the position of the one and only magician that says I'm gonna do what I have to do I am in the center of the infinite eight I know what I want and I go out as a luminous warrior I have brought myself up into the angel status I know that I am the guardian angel and so now your journey continues to hold that halo and go out and see the tests because fives are tests and you have the 14 which is then calculated together a five. So you already kind of have a five five portal coming here. And on the position of the high priestess comes the lovers out of the hermetic tarot and the lovers is opposite of you the lovers is exactly that energy which you have to incorporate the shadow side they're six months apart and if you really want to be gloriously in the center with these two cups then you gotta look deep within yourself and understand what does it mean to incorporate Gemini, incorporate the search for self, the search for meaning, but deep within you, not through the partner, the black and the white, uniting it and coming to the center. It's again and again the same message, but here you are very strongly encouraged to really understand what it means to be with yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And here, of course, we have quite the um, Andromeda and Perseus drama where he is freeing her from the snake or the dragon. And that's the Kundalini, that's the sexual attachment to the rock, here to the physical element. And he comes and he's liberating her from that cycle. But what's now really, really powerful is that on this position, the position of the Empress, comes again the lovers. So you have twice the lovers coming up and that's just quite an, a strong message letting you know, hey, you really got to find yourself. You really got to look deep within yourself. And so just that you know, this is... Um, the Hermetic Tarot, Oswald Worth, only painted 22 major arcana. 
and both were used in secret brotherhoods so this one in England and this one in France that's why it's called l'amoureux and so this was the order of the golden dawn and this was the order of the um, Kabbalistic Rose Cross order both of them formed 1888 the infinite eight that symbol which is above the magician the symbol of inhale and exhale where you come up as a warrior so you gotta really realize what's happening here is that you are called you're really called to liberation a true liberation in that shadow side of yours which is Gemini which is incorporate Gemini into your life because then you're going to really understand what all this is about so now these are the first four that have no zodiac signs attached to it except here on the Empress she has a crown of all the 12 zodiacs signs above her and so she's quite powerful and now on the position of the emperor comes the sword the ace of swords the clear thinking in your mind that is knowing something important is speaking here to you because the word zane is sword and this is the letter that is attached to this card zane is sword and then again here you have Zane that is sword and of course it's two women the high priestess and the empress and then here comes the masculine that says yes I'm holding the sword but now look how he's holding the sword he is not holding it here very strange right no one in his right mind would ever hold the sword here where the blade is sharp and so the message is saying use this wisely, use the mind wisely, use it like an emperor, use it very diligently, use it carefully. Because then on the position of the um, high priest, the hierophant, Taurus, comes the queen of swords and she is looking into the small cycle. She is looking from left to right and she's saying yes let's use it and she's holding also the sword in this hand in the right hand but she's holding it now properly she's holding it where it's supposed to be hold so you got the message you understood here that this has to be very carefully executed so that you can spiritually move forward and receive the message of the sword the sword is that clear thought that comes so that you can go forward and look into the future and say where do i want to go i want to go forward on the position of gemini which is then your shadow side which you got twice comes the eight of cups and it's speaking about Saturn in Pisces, a moment of realizing you got to move on emotionally. You got to really move on, release everything that's behind you, release the infinite eight of the warrior. Right. And yeah, I can also put it here, but let's put it here. The warrior that said on the position of the magician, release really release come into an awakening come into uh, a clarity come into your center and know that there is the right step now to go forward and release what are you gonna release you are going to re release the three of swords in the month of cancer in the month of cancer in the month of Gemini you left something and you got the clear thought in the month of uh, Taurus but now in the month of 
cancer, the deep emotional energy that we can feel comes the three of swords, which is Saturn in Libra. And so something really is speaking to you about truly let go this painful energy. The three, it's always a, I mean, mostly they let you know, okay, there's another woman or there's another man. And for me, the three can also be a world pain. For me, the three is not really that you been dumped by someone or that, you know, it's been cheated on. It's that, it's that, that singular triangle that all by itself doesn't have really the meaning. It's kind of like this triangle here, right? And very interesting, it's this triangle here. There's a triangle and there's a triangle and all by itself, there's like the separation has happened. Meanwhile, in the real triangle, it is then creating the star and it creates the light when they're overlapping, when they are creating then the center, which is the hard space. And so the lovers is always for me a moment of like saying, yes, I want to be arriving with myself. And so this is the two and the zero card number 20. And the two then comes back to the um, high priestess, which was then, of course, here, the lovers, the number six. So you are really learning to realize that this heart, this space, that this triangle is for you to grow and to now move forward and be like, okay, I learned my lesson here and I got to move on. And this is also what Cancer does. He's successfully leaving out with the third eye, with the star that he has above his head. And he's guiding the right and the left side through the third eye. Right? With the third eye, we guide the right hand, the left hand, and that's like a triangle in front of us. And so this difficult situation, this emotional difficult situation is only a, a memory. It's not really an actual emotional pain anymore. It is a memory that you want to move on and you got to move on. And maybe there is really um, a Libra helping you because the Queen of Swords is a Libra. You can look below for the dates for this uh, woman. And here you get Libra. You get this um, strong woman that can help you to overcome this mental situation by accepting the wild side through a higher consciousness. She's accepting that she has both sides within herself. She has the inhale and the exhale. She has chaos and order and she has everything within her at her fingertips. But she's choosing to create wings with her mind. She's choosing to be in the center and release the suffering, right? Because that's where the crossing is. It's always that crossing that's saying, if you cross your arms in front of your heart, then you have the right side connected with the left side of the brain and the left side with the right side of the brain, then you are in your center. And this is what is saying here, you know, don't choose the right, neither the left path, choose the crossing and choose yourself. And through that, you're going to move forward and truly uplift and truly shift and change yourself. Because then on the position of Virgo comes Saturn in Leo. And that's usually that typical testing, that um, deep spiritual testing of yourself, the five, which is then again connecting with you, your five. 14, 1 and 4 is 5. And here comes the 5 of Wands. You have the Wand because you are the um, Knight of Wands. And you love to test yourself. You love to know what's out there. And you love to now go and really see, okay, maybe I want to go the path of the soul. 
I've learned a lot on the path of the physical, which is important. And now I want to go the other way. I want to go the path of the soul. And there's still a little bit of a battle within you, but I think you get it. Because you getting another five. And it's really interesting. So you already have here a three times five portal. Five, five, five. With you, then it's four. And last time you had the five times five portal. So there is this portal still working within you through Virgo, through a deeper look within. Last time you looked at it from this perspective as that incorporation of what it is really here, uh, wild in you. And now you got to see it from a new perspective, from an inner strength, from a completion, because back then it was an infinite eight. Now we are in the nine which is highlighting you. So the nine, the completion is telling you, yes, come. And so here comes the home is in the sky, the 41, another five on the position of the wheel of fortune. Now I can also put this here if we go this way. And so this bird is looking at here and saying, hey, come on, come on, get out of there leaf. If it's here, it's almost like saying, hey, come with us. It's continuing. Also, this path is continuing. Get out of here because this is the kiss of Judas from um, Salvador Dali and the butterfly that is liberating itself from this energy of betraying or testing and checking how others do things and you don't have to really do that anymore. Maybe you checking on these, on this situation. Because it's very interesting. There is like, you know, one is looking this way and one is looking that way and these are singles, but these are together. But they're not really looking in the same direction, right? So one is looking into the small circle and the other one is looking into the big circle. So either way I place it, one is looking at the Five of Wands, at this Saturn in Leo as this fair game, but sometimes they also speak about a little bit of a cruelty here that that's not always fair. What's going on? It's also kind of like testing, you know, it's kind of like that masculine testing. So just have a look. Now I'm going to put Virgo down and so here comes you because the wheel of fortune for me is a moment of like are you going in this direction or are you coming from this direction right from this direction you can see how this one is literally like still it's coming at you if you go this way and if you hear you literally pass that you have that behind you and you are going anyway in the big circle. But it's almost here, it's saying, yeah, you went through a lot, so just keep continuing, keep continuing your path. Next position is Libra, the Five of Swords. So another five, the Five of Swords is Venus in Aquarius, now here you are realizing that this is five of wands and now comes the five of swords and you see only the leaves are left of this five petaled flower. Usually this flower is intact and here it's not intact anymore. So the number five is quite testing you again because now it's one, two, three, four with you already five times the five. And yeah, this is the mental, this is still a struggle. You're struggling with certain things, but I think you're coming out of it. Nevertheless, this is have a look, right? Because the word justice for me doesn't exist. Nature is not just, nature is precise. 
nature is order and chaos or harmony and to be absolutely still and quiet no one is able to do that because then you're dead right totally dead then it's that's it but because we are movement because we are vibrations so no one can absolutely be in the judgment of judging someone else yeah? justice to be just who is absolutely just no one can be absolutely just it doesn't exist nevertheless we need it because otherwise we would just kill someone for a piece of bread right or anything that we do terrible things in the war and then on the position of the hanged man comes and this is interesting in the german reading i had the same card here the tiger eye the number 55 so you have these two difficult fives five five here as a test to see how much are you able to overcome that because in your court card you have the pyramids in there and this is speaking about releasing and changing your perspective and seeing hey i want to awaken my potential through the tiger eye and you want to see the positive strength that you have the optimistic side that you have the pure power that you have the essence or the form to manifest and clear um focus to say what you want and where you want to go and that's the strong triangle pointing upwards which here there is a triangle that is pointing downwards but the only way to overcome this difficulty is by sheer willingness to overcome an emotional difficulty and you will succeed you will dive deep into that and say yes this is who i am this is so much me look at that i mean yeah so then um comes on the position of scorpio the eight of pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles speaks about the Sun in Virgo, and that's exactly what's happening right now. You have the Sun in Virgo, and Sun in Virgo is helping you to move forward, also move forward now, not only emotionally move forward, but also physically and all the, the financial situation, moving forward to the Eight. Two times eight, you understand that all of this is just a test. The five-five test of the five of swords and the five of wands. It's a test and you pass the test. You release the test because you are moving forward like this white horse is going forward and saying, eh, I'm going to move on because now it's you who's coming um with another five of cups so now you have three times five but all together you have one two three four five with you six times the five so in a way it's like now the six the star the sun the hexagram that's in the lantern of the virgos shining a light on you and is helping you to find your own light and is actually releasing the person that you maybe have lost through this test that you have walked away but it's still lingering mentally in your head and there's still a battle going on within yourself through the the way you take action and through the way you think 
But now you have understood something through this crystal the tiger eye. Maybe you should get one a tiger eye. And you have understood that, yeah, the home is in the sky. The home is up where the uh, tip of the pyramid is. The tip of the pyramid that is me bringing me up again into my glorious self. And then for reconciliation, for letting go, you give the cup to the person that walked away from you so that you can really be free. It's this forgive word because when we forgive we give that which the other person had to do back to them and we can liberate ourselves and move on really move on because then look at what's coming again oh my god you get again then the lovers then you can free yourself capricorn the attachment, the last spiritual seventh step to the world. You can liberate yourself and now you have three times the Gemini, the lovers. Then an amazing love is coming to you because you let go. Look at this. This is crazy. Three times the lovers. Three times six. Three times six is then coming and saying, let go. Because look. Look what's coming. The lovers again. I mean, this is crazy. Three times six. Three times six is the liberation, is arriving at a new love, right? A new love in the month of Capricorn. A deep deep level of like wow I did it I really did it because then comes the tower who is liberating you from the starfish from the five from the five time five portal that um, was teaching you but now you are in the six times five and the crown and the third eye is seeing that you're letting go, deeply letting go of the starfish. Because the starfish is saying, beautiful, alluring, but superficial or shallow. When in balance, uplifting, artistic and expressive. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. So that's what it is, finding the three times six portal as well as that I find self-love within myself and then I'm establishing myself and I can be the starfish and I can be out there and shine a light upon all the creatures, all the people. And then now walking on again, another eight, two times eight. Actually, three times eight. Right? The three times eight is saying, okay, you are learning. It was like this. You're learning to move on. You learned to be self-reliant in your own cycle. And now here you are walking again forward and you're seeing all these animals being in pairs and you have eight dots yourself and you're the lucky charm and you're realizing good I walked on good that I learned to rely on myself good that I say in the month of Aquarius hey I am arriving as that star myself look at the position she looks like a star and she is also now pouring and this is what's so fascinating to the card opposite of you is that you are still learning 
to pour back and forth for yourself. Aquarius is learning to pour back and forth or give and take for the for the world. Because she's put, pouring it into the water and she or she's pouring it into the earth. And so you are learning a big lesson now to really come into the understanding that, hey, I am learning something profoundly in the age of Aquarius because you had Venus in Aquarius, but Venus is actually moving into Virgo tonight. So, but Venus in Aquarius is letting you know, hey, have a look. Now you're really, truly moving on. Now you're really emotionally moving on. And you got to find the Sky Dancer, which is the moon, which is in your sign right now. Then you're going to rely on yourself. Then you're going to come to the number 12, to the 3. A 3 that is creating this triangle. A, tr a 3 that is creating... You know, the triangle, the triangle is pointing upwards and is saying, go for it. Okay, and then that's the end of reading from left to right. And now we're again going into the uh, right to left. And so from the moon, we go into now right to left into the sun. And here comes the atom, the number 40. And is letting you know, hey, you got to go forward into the four, into the stability. You got to go forward into the ace, which was on the four. And also realizing on the zero, you had this shift. And so you go into the small atom and you're building something completely new again. Because now when I put this down, we go through Aquarius. We go through the moon into Aquarius. And going through the moon into Aquarius and from Aquarius into the sun is the link the moon is the link between <laughs> the link between Aquarius and the Sun and these are both this is a star it's a Sun far away and this is also a dwarf star it's a Sun and the moon is in the center and it's saying connect through the moon and then you connect through that into the small the 365 or one year cycle and then uh in the other way around into the 25,800 year old cycle and so then on the position of the judgment comes here visualizing and you had the judgment on the position of the fool And you see the triangles separating itself. You see the triangles here also separate from each other. They're not interlocking. And that's when the spirit or the soul is leaving the body and they separate. And so the separation brings then the wisdom of the ancient ones. Then you go down, but you uplift. You go back down in this cycle, in the big cycle. The atomic energy is liberating itself through the butterfly and you visualize your new life, your new cycle. And sometimes I read it like what's happening on the position of um, Scorpio, which is death. Sun in Virgo is bringing you a new meaning, a new life. Maybe you're becoming a Virgo in the next life then. And when it says visualize, it says when we develop our abilities to visualize, we can manifest maximum influence on our experience of reality. We can manifest maximum influence our experience of reality. The number 54. Oh my God, the number 9. So yeah, you're going to 
go deep within, you're going to become maybe a Virgo in your next life. Nine, nine. Because then, <laughs> on the next position, the world comes you. So you are here realizing a cycle has closed. You are not becoming a Virgo. Because I thought maybe you become a Virgo here because of the visualization, the number 54, the 9. Right? Because here is the judgment. And here is the judgment that began all the way at the beginning. So the connection with that was like maybe you are getting a Virgo or you're becoming a Virgo because of the 9-9 portal here. And here you come on the position now of the world. You are again becoming yourself. You are again realizing the depth within you. You are realizing that you are special. You're realizing that you are already going in this direction. And now you will see you come from the future towards you. And you're going to be like, oh my God, look at this. They are looking at each other. They are looking at each other. Because she's looking over there and it's almost like saying, yeah, I'm coming from the future, letting you know that all is good. And you're going to understand the cycles are powerful. The understanding of all these spiritual messages, because why I'm thinking of Virgo on the position um, of the death card is the eight of pentacles which is sun in virgo so i thought okay maybe you are begun you're going to become a virgo and you see here this mysterious energy the when we develop our abilities to visualize we can manifest maximum influence our experience of reality but i see that you're doing that for yourself you want to come back one more time as you there you go. You coming up and you are grown into something explosive and something magnificent and something amazing. And you are realizing, yeah, I am powerful. I am learning through the six time five. Right? The six time five is here and is letting you know, yeah, I'm going into the next portal. Wow, so beautiful. So I hope I see you in the next one because on the position of justice comes the five of swords. So we're going to look deep within when the earth is turning in such a way that when we look at the sun we see um, Libra. And we see that here is something speaking to you, Venus in Aquarius through the age of Aquarius, the five, one of the fives is the most painful one, right? It's because it's, it's, it's in a way that you like literally saying, I'm betraying a little bit even myself, but you have help. And we're going to look at that in the next reading. Until then, I thank you so, so much for being with me. Namaste.